Have you ever thought about how important the First Lady is? What comes to your mind when you think of the First Lady? Have you ever thought about how Laura Bush is still an important woman to society today? Laura Bush was the First Lady to President George Bush Jr. from 2001 to 2009. She has many accomplishments and has made an impact on the United States. The picture you are seeing is Laura Bush reading a book to a little girl in a classroom. I found this image at StarCats.com on April 18th. Laura Bush had a quiet life growing up. She never thought that her life would change after getting married. According to SunSigns.org, April 20th, Laura grew up in a traditional household that placed importance on reading and education. It was a religious and educated business class family. Since Laura grew up in that lifestyle, she wanted to become an elementary school teacher. Her life just got better from there as she met George Bush and then became First Lady. Laura Bush has also written many novels. Some of them she wrote with one of her daughters, Jenna Bush Hager. I really became an interested in Laura Bush when I was working at a daycare and I was reading a book to the kid. The book I read was Our Great Big Backyard by Laura and Jenna Bush. After that, I've always talked about how I wanted to be like her when I was older. Laura Bush has impacted a lot of people in life and her big heart continues to grow towards everyone to this day. I've done some research over Laura Bush and I would like to tell you more about her. I will explain her personal life, her career, and her philanthropies. I would like to start out by talking about her personal life. Laura Bush was born on November 4th, 1946 in Midland, Texas to Harold Welch and Jenna Louise Hawkins Welch. Her father was a real estate agent and her mother was a bookkeeper for her husband's business. Laura grew up in Midland, Texas and, for, and then for college attended Southern Methodist University for her bachelor's in science. According to the famous people.com on April 20th, after graduating from university, Laura started a career in second grade teacher at Longfellow Elementary School in the Dallas Independent School District and later on taught at the John F. Kennedy Elementary School in Houston. After years of teaching, she then went back to school at the University of Texas to get her master's in library science. After that, she graduated in 1973. She started working in the Houston Public Library. She then went to work as a librarian in the Austin Independent School District. In 1977, she met George Bush Jr., who was the son of the 41st President George H.W. Bush. According to History.com, on April 20th, the couple met at a friend's barbecue in 1977 and went miniature golfing for their first date. They were married three months later in a small, modest ceremony attended by family and friends. In 1981, Laura Bush had twin girls, Barbara and Jenna Bush. Jenna ended up having three children as of right now, Poppy, Margaret, and Henry Hager. Now that I have told you about her personal life, I would like to explain her career. As I said before, Laura Bush was a teacher and a librarian. She was much more than that. She also became an influential speaker. In 1995, she became the first lady of George Bush in Texas as he became the governor of Texas. According, according to thefamouspeople.com on April 21st, she used her position to work for causes that truly she believed in, state funding for literacy, breast cancer awareness, and much more. In 2000, George Bush became president of the United States, making Laura Bush the first lady. They were in the White House for two presidential terms. During her time in the White House, Laura made trips around the United States to schools to read to children and give speeches. Laura did not think her role as the first lady was as important as the president's until September 11th, 2001, according to, according to the firstladies.org on April 20th, with the terrorist attacks on 9-11, less than nine months after assuming the first lady role, Laura Bush found her visibility much more higher than with more demands made upon it than she initially assumed it would be. Her job was a very serious job, and she was important to the United States just as the president was. Other than her being the first lady, she had a career in writing books. 
she wrote a couple books on her own and a couple books with her daughter Jenna Bush. Some of the books she wrote were Our Great Big Backyard, Laura Bush, Spoken from the Heart, Read All About It, Read All About It, Spanish Edition, and Spoken from the Heart, Collector's Edition. Bush has had a sex, sex, successful career. She believed in sharing with others. Let me explain her philanthropies. Laura Bush helped raise money for six charities and helped support 13 causes. According to lookatthestars.com on April 20th, the charities she helped with are Covenant House, George W. Bush Institute, Jumpstart, The Heart Truth, World Vision, and one of her favorites, Susan G. Komen for the Care. A lot of these foundations are important to her. The George W. Bush Institute was founded by herself and her husband. One of her philanthropies that Laura Bush supports is very close to me because it, because it is the same philanthropy that is founded by my sorority, Alpha Phi. Some of the causes that has that she has supported are fostering, adoption, orphans, AIDS, HIV, children, cancer, and education and health. She has supported these causes because of her great love for children. According to the famouspeople.com on April 20th, she was honored with the Nicholas Chancellor's Medal, Ellie Weasel Foundation for, Humane, for Humanity Honor, American Library Association Honor, and Christian Freedom International Freedom Award. These awards meant a lot to her because growing up she was very religious and the library was her favorite place to be. According to biography.com, 20, April 21st, she raised nearly $1 million for public libraries. If that doesn't show her true love for libraries, then I don't know what does. I have taken a few minutes to, to tell you about Laura Bush. I have told you about Laura Bush's personal life, her career, and her philanthropies. Laura Bush has impacted the life of so many people. According to the class survey, there are three people that are 23 and older. 18 of the people of the class are younger than 22 years old. I have talked to a few people in the class that are younger than 22 years old, and they have no idea who Laura Bush is and how she has affected our country. Also, according to the survey, zero people have a strong view on politics and 17 have an average interest in politics. Laura Bush and her family are obviously big on politics and always will be. To this day, she is still raising money for libraries and books. If you do not know much about Laura Bush, you should stop by your local library and check her out. I found this Laura Bush quote at Brainy Quotes on April 24th. We can all open.